हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टूडेज टॉपिक इज वैल्यू ऑफ मार्जिनल प्रोडक्ट लेट स्टार्ट द वैल्यू ऑफ द मार्जिनल प्रोडक्ट ऑफ एनी इनपुट इज द मार्जिनल प्रोडक्ट ऑफ दैट इनपुट मल्टीप्लाइड बाय द मार्केट प्राइस ऑफ द आउटपुट इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव seen this first column that is of labor the second column that is of amount of output the third column which was marginal product of labor marginal product of labor is change in output upon change in labor in this video we will focus on this fourth column which is value of the marginal product of labor value of the marginal product of labor is equal to price of the output times the marginal product of labor when we are talking about value what does it mean it means in monetary terms or i can write in dollars jo bhi labor ke efforts hain right marginal product of labor hame kya batata hai marginal product of labor hame batata hai the increase in output due to additional unit of labor right to wo jo increase in output hua hai due to additional unit of labor agar us agar us labor ka wo jo marginal product hai labor ke wo jo efforts hain agar uski main value nikalna chahu value matlab in monetary terms in dollar terms ki kitna revenue usne generate kiya right to us hum kahenge value of marginal product of labor <coughs> लेट्स एज्यूम दैट द प्राइस ऑफ एप्पल्स इज डॉलर टेन पर बुशल तो हम अपने एग्जाम्पल में ये एज्यूम कर रहे हैं कि जो प्राइस ऑफ एप्पल्स है वो कितना है डॉलर टेन पर बुशल सो वॉट वी विल डू आई एम मेकिंग एन एडिशनल कॉलम हेयर प्राइस ऑफ एप्पल्स राइट डॉलर टेन डॉलर टेन डॉलर टेन इन द सेम वे बिकॉज इट इज कॉन्स्टेंट ओके प्राइस में तो कोई चेंज नहीं आया ना ठीक है प्राइस डॉलर टेन है ठीक है अब अगर हमें कैलकुलेट करना है वैल्यू ऑफ माजर प्रोडक्ट ऑफ लेबर विच इज प्राइस इन टू एम पी एल सो डॉलर टेन इन टू हंड्रेड विल बिकम डॉलर टेन थाउजेंड सॉरी डॉलर थाउजेंड then dollar 10 into 80 will become dollar 800 dollar 10 into 60 will become dollar 600 in the same way this is dollar 400 dollar 200 fine so we have just multiplied this itni baat samajh mein aati hai ki kaise humne ye calculate kiya hai value of marginal product of labor okay कि अगर हम बात करें फर्स्ट वर्कर की तो फर्स्ट वर्कर ने जो रेवेन्यू जनरेट किया है दैट इज डॉलर थाउजेंड इफ यू टॉक अबाउट सेकंड वर्कर सेकंड वर्कर जनरेट्स एन एडिशनल रेवेन्यू ऑफ डॉलर एट हंड्रेड इफ यू टॉक अबाउट थर्ड वर्कर थर्ड वर्कर जनरेट्स एन एडिशनल रेवेन्यू ऑफ डॉलर सिक्स फोर्थ वर्कर जनरेट्स एन एडिशनल रेवेन्यू ऑफ फोर एंड फिफ्थ वर्कर जनरेट्स एन एडिशनल रेवेन्यू ऑफ डॉलर टू आई होप नाउ दिस टेबल इज क्लियर fine because the market price is constant uh okay fine because the market price is constant for a competitive firm while the marginal product declines with more workers the value of the marginal product diminishes as the number of worker rises what does it mean it's simple see V M P L value of marginal product of labor is equal to the price of the output times marginal product of labor. Now we know that marginal product of labor declines with more. 
workers price of apple is constant which is dollar 10 per bushel so it is constant when the price is constant and mpl is continuously declining by uh, 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 with the hiring of more workers so the result will be that value of marginal product of labor will also decline with more workers i hope this concept is clear प्राइस जो है वो कांस्टेंट है हमारे केस में हमने अज्यूम किया है डॉलर 10 पर बुशल राइट मार्जिनल प्रोडक्ट ऑफ लेबर की हमें वो प्रॉपर्टी पता ही है डिमिनिशिंग मार्जिनल प्रोडक्ट की जैसे-जैसे आप जितना आप वर्कर्स हायर करेंगे तो उनकी जो प्रोडक्टिविटी है उनके उनके जो मार्जिनल प्रोडक्ट है इट विल कंटीन्यूअसली डिक्लाइन राइट सो इफ दिस इज कांस्टेंट इट इज डिक्लाइनिंग विद मोर वर्कर्स डेफिनेटली द द वैल्यू ऑफ मार्जिनल प्रोडक्ट ऑफ लेबर विल आल्सो डिक्लाइन विद मोर वर्कर्स now consider how many workers the firm will hire okay suppose that the market wage for apple pickers is dollar 500 per week fine to jaisa ki yahan pe aapko dikh raha hai this is the market wage denoted by capital w ye humne assume kiya kitni dollar 500 dollar 500 कि जो हम वर्कर को जो वेज हम पे कर रहे हैं वो कितनी है डॉलर 500 हमारा सवाल ये है दैट हाउ मेनी वर्कर्स द फर्म विल हायर ओके सो इफ वी टॉक अबाउट द फर्स्ट वर्कर फर्स्ट वर्कर जनरेट्स अ रेवेन्यू ऑफ डॉलर 1000 एंड द वेज दैट द फर्म इज पेइंग टू दैट वर्कर इज डॉलर 500 व्हेन द रेवेन्यू जनरेटेड बाय दैट वर्कर इज ग्रेटर देन द वेज दैट द फर्म इज पेइंग डेफिनेटली इफ वी इफ वी कैलकुलेट द प्रॉफिट इट विल बी dollar 1000 minus 500 which is dollar 500 so it is positive i think the hiring the first worker is profitable okay if we talk about the second worker second worker generates an additional revenue of dollar 800 while the wage is 500 so again the revenue is greater than the wage and if we calculate the profit 800 minus 500 which is 300 again it is positive so hiring the second worker is also profitable fine if we talk about third worker, third worker generates an additional revenue of dollar six hundred while the wage is five hundred. So again, the revenue is greater than the wage. If we calculate the profit, six hundred minus five hundred, which is hundred, again it is pro it is positive. So hiring the third worker is also profitable. Now, if we talk about the fourth worker, fourth worker generates an additional revenue of four hundred, which is less than the wage. Oh okay that means if we calculate the profit it will be 400 minus 500 which is minus 100 it is negative i don't think so hiring the fourth worker is profitable hiring the fourth worker is unprofitable so the firm will hire only three workers the firm will hire only three workers the firm will hire only three workers because if we talk about the fourth worker hiring the fourth worker is unprofitable clear okay so <clears throat> as we can see that this uh, on, on the vertical axis we have taken value of marginal product of labor and on the horizontal axis we have taken quantity of apple pickers this is the market wage agar aap dekhe market wage ek horizontal line hai kyu because it is constant in our case it is dollar 500 okay we have assumed that the market wage is dollar 500 so it is constant it is it, it will be like this a horizontal line while the value of marginal product if we see this curve this is downward sloping this curve is downward sloping why it is downward sloping we have just seen this equation right 
in which I, 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 I told you that marginal product of labor declines with more workers. Price is constant. So definitely the value of marginal product of labor will also decline with more workers. And that is the reason. Because it declines, the value of marginal product of labor declines with more workers and that is the reason it is downward sloping. Downward sloping. <clears throat> VMPL declines with more workers. As the quantity of apple pickers increases, the value of marginal product declines and that is the reason it is downward sloping. Is this part clear? Okay. If we see the <clears throat> this is the intersection point of the market wage and the value of marginal product of labor okay before this quantity of labor if we see the vmpl curve is above the market wage so in this area vmpl is greater than the market wage right we can say Hiring additional worker is profitable, right? Now, if I look uh, beyond this level, beyond this intersection point, the VMPL is this uh, this vmpl curve is below the market wage so in this area in this area vmpl is less than the wage and when this vmpl is less than the wage can i say that Hiring additional worker is unprofitable, right? And what this intersection point denotes? This intersection point, at this intersection point, the VMPL is equal to wage. The value of marginal product of labor is equal to wage rate. So, be, uh, so before this point, VMPL is greater than the wage rate, and that is the reason hiring the additional worker is profitable. So, yes, the firm will hire more workers. But if we look after this point, VMPL is less than the wage rate, and that is the reason hiring the additional worker is unprofitable. So, we can say thus. A competitive profit maximizing firm hires workers up to the point where the value of the marginal product of labor equals the wage. So this, this equation, this condition is the profit maximizing condition. This is the profit maximizing condition. This this intersection point at which VMPL is equal to the wage rate. This is the profit maximizing quantity of labor. This is the profit maximizing quantity of labor. This one. Okay. We have just seen that the firm makes that decision by choosing the quantity of labor at which the value of marginal product equals the wage. Okay, 
हमें ये देखना था कि कैसे जो फर्म है वो वर्कर्स को हायर करेगी तो हमने देख लिया कि फर्म वर्कर्स को हायर करेगी अप टू द पॉइंट एट विच द वी एम पी एल इक्वल्स द वेज रेट ओके एंड दैट इज अ रीजन एज अ रिजल्ट द वैल्यू ऑफ मार्जर प्रोडक्ट कर्व इज द लेबर डिमांड कर्व फॉर अ कॉम्पिटेटिव प्रॉफिट मैक्सिमाइजिंग फॉर्म ये जो हमारा कर्व है वैल्यू ऑफ मार्जर प्रोडक्ट ऑफ लेबर इसे हम क्या कहेंगे डिमांड कर्व फॉर लेबर दिस इज द डिमांड कर्व फॉर लेबर तो ये बात अब आपको ध्यान रखनी है इस पूरे चैप्टर में आगे की जो हम वीडियोस करेंगे आगे का जो हम कंटेंट कवर अप करेंगे ये जो वैल्यू ऑफ मार्जर प्रोडक्ट होता है दिस इज द डिमांड कर्व फॉर लेबर क्लियर थैंक यू अगर आपको ये वीडियो अच्छी लगी तो इसे लाइक करें शेयर करें बिकॉज डेली यूनिवर्सिटी में ये कंटेंट जो है दिस दिस इज कवर्ड अप फ्रॉम चैप्टर नंबर एटीन मार्केट फॉर फैक्टर्स ऑफ प्रोडक्शन मैन क्यू बुक है ठीक है तो वहाँ से इस कंटेंट को कवर अप किया गया है आगे भी फर्दर वीडियोज़ अपलोड मैं करता रहूँगा ठीक है थैंक यू